Good afternoon. Yeah, I'm at the Rotunda ABC, home of champions is their slogan here. And I want to bring your attention to a picture that we found on the wall straight away. Just have a look at this here. Right in the middle, our fresh faced champion who joins us now, Natasha Jones. This is there's no editing here. This is the before. And this is the after. And which one, which one's the younger one? Oh, I've <laughs> aged so much. Um, yeah, the, where it all began. Not true at all. Benjamin Button going on here. You're looking younger. Um, must be good memories coming back here. You won, I think, all of your ABA titles out of here. And um, now, just days away from a chance to become unified world champion. Yeah, I think um, I think how we describe it is that um, they, the, the Rotunda give Joe the diamond and he just polished it. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, you know, I've only ever been to two clubs. One, one was Rotunda, one was Gallagher. So it's lovely to be back in my own club. It's lovely to be back in my own town. And yet I want to win in front of my own fans. A homecoming for you and a homecoming where you will walk to the ring as a world champion. I'm sure there were times, and I know there were times, because you told us that you didn't think that that would happen as a professional. Yeah, there was lots of bumps in the road, but, you know, your persistency and uh, determination and motivation to, to keep doing and being better and eventually got me a reward. Motivation to win one world title. Now there's a chance on Saturday to become unified world champion against Patricia Bergholt, the WBC champion, in front of a home crowd. It's all set up for you. You've just got to take the opportunity. That's a fairy tale story, yeah. You've just got to you know, do everything that I do in the gym and, and, and concentrate and, and just do the job. I mean, this is, believe it or not, fighting's the easy bit. You know, you've done 10, 12 weeks of training in, in camp going through the, all the hard stuff so that the fight nights, it, you know, it's just putting them all them pieces together, you've just got to put them together, right? What about Pat Patricia Burghardt? What do you know about her? What do you have to do to beat her? What sort of fight are you expecting on Saturday at the Echo? Um, I'm expecting 10 rounds. Um, I'm expecting a hard fight. Uh, you know, I, I remember from the amateurs. I've never boxed her, but I remember her from the amateurs. Um, Sweden as a nation, we're always neat and tidy. She's, you know, lot long levers, good footwork, and yeah, I've got to use my my assets to combat that and, and uh, make what she's good at uh, less. Dare I say, though, that before the Christian Namas fight, when you won your world title, you and Joe Gallagher were very adamant pre-fight, this is going 10 rounds, this is going 10 rounds, we'll be ready for 10 rounds, and look what happened. Could the same happen on Saturday night? I know you won't be looking for that, but if the opportunity is there, do you believe you could knock her up? Yeah, I think anyone at any weight, um, hitting anybody in the right spot, can, can knock anybody out. That's just that's just uh, boxing for you. That's why we love it. Um, but yeah, I've trained for 10 rounds and I expect to go 10 rounds. So anything that comes, any opportunities that present themselves, I'll have taken an opportunity. So. What about being world champion? I mean, you had to work so hard for it. Now you've captured that one belt. Is it the road to undisputed? Is that what you're looking for? One belt isn't enough. For some fighters, I've heard in the past, you know, winning that world title was their Everest and they could never get as motivated to carry on because that's all they ever worked for. What's your mentality and your outlook on this fight and, and the chance to win more belts? I think I just, you know, approach me boxing like I approach, approach life. Once you've reached the goal, then you, you set another one and you, you, reach, you try and reach that. I, I've never put a limit on what I can do, what I can achieve and who I can be and I won't start now. I had Liam Smith in exactly the same position an hour ago and we ended up talking football. It's Derby Day on Saturday. I mean, it's not, it's not easy for you. You've got a big job to focus on Saturday night, but we all know they're a huge Liverpool fan and we know that the city's divided red and blue. Um, are you going to be watching it or are you going to try and avoid it? No, I think I don't think you can avoid it. <laughs> we're, in, we're in Liverpool, so you're definitely not going to be able to avoid it. Hopefully, um, you know, the city comes together at the end of it. That's what we want. Dare I say, just before they came to us live, you said to me, have Liverpool signed anyone yet? Are you hoping for one more before the transfer window closes? Yeah, I'd love a midfielder. I think we're, we're in desperate need for a, a, a midfielder, so yeah, let's see what happens. Well, Liam Smith threw out Jude Bellingham. Uh, is that one, would that be one that you uh, put a smile on your face? Yeah, I've, I've, seen, I've seen a couple of names pop up. Yeah, that's one I wouldn't mind, yeah. <laughs> okay. Final thoughts on, on, on Saturday night. How do you think you'll feel being announced as a world champion in your hometown at the top of that ramp when... You know, you, for a long time, I'm, I'm not sure you believed that you would ever get that chance. You know, how do you think that you'll feel deep down when you hear those words, you know, coming to the ring, the WBO champion, Natasha Jonas? Um, excitement, uh, relief, uh, everything. So, yeah, I, I, you just concentrate and try and take it all in and live in the present for that one second that he's announcing it. And then you go in and do the business. So that's exactly what I'll do. I'll take it all in, appreciate it, enjoy it, and then go and do, go to work. Tasha, we wish you all the best of luck. I'm just hoping that when we switch this camera off, because we've shown a, a picture there of Tasha in her younger days, I don't get chin. So here's hoping. 